Today we need to get into Aram writing a poem about how he hopes Korea will be better in the future. We need to get into Aram's new letter about enlistment and it's sparking a debate about Korea. And then we had fans protesting about a layout, which is strange. So you down please is Dave Desai, hate it or not, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on, grab your dumplings, he's spilling mug merch, and let's go. People woke up to a storm today and it's extremely crazy. If you're not aware, over on X, there was a trend that was hitting strong. And even as of recording, which was like 12 hours later, it's still hitting strong. People were trending BTS change your layout. And this is a trend alongside BTS debut and BTS is coming. Of course, if you're not on X or any part of the fan clubs on there, this trend would be quite confusing. I love BTS and I love watching the trends, but I am also not in these fan clubs because sometimes they're so clicky, but I am going to break down everything that is going on and you guys can join in on the fun a little bit as well. So since the members have enlisted in the military, armies have tried to get together to organize these virtual events to try to cheer everyone up and make it just a fun event. Armies were pretending that BTS was making a comeback and they were organizing armies to come together to stream BTS's old music and old songs, specifically their debut album and debut song. People were making teasers and then even people joking and saying that they know that BTS is enlisting, but Bang Tang with Son Day is a new group coming out and that we should all stand them to even take pictures of young BTS members and say which ones they're going to be a fan of. And I think this is very cute and fun. Apparently BTS's old music was believed to have re-entered the Billboard charts, or I guess not re-entered, but maybe just entered, because I don't think they were necessarily hitting those charts when they first debuted it. And this just shows the power of what the fans can do. I'm sure the boys worked really hard on that song, and it just shows BTS that maybe even Hive that people appreciate the older works. Of course, right after this, BTS Change Your Layout started to trend and this was very confusing to me initially. But basically they were asking HYBE and the label to change their X banner on top so that it shows BTS's old debut photos. And so it aligns with the goals of what armies want to do. However, since this seems to be an army project and not an official one, I doubt that HYBE would actually change it. However, fans were protesting and banning together over this, so maybe the social media team would actually see it and then actually change it just to join in on the fun. Many people were adjusting their layout to put the boys when they first debuted there and I think it was probably a surprise for Hype to see the fandom have this sort of reaction and do something extremely unexpected. I think most artists and labels think that the old stuff is old and no one cares or would bother streaming that old stuff. However, their old music is actually fantastic and it actually had to be fantastic because that's the music that got them to where they are now. So it's actually really amazing. I think this could even give Hybe some ideas on possibly re-releasing the old albums or doing something special with that. The boys, I believe, have gotten the privilege to still work while enlisting, so maybe they can hop in the studio and just re-record those things. And apparently not only has their old album and songs gone viral again, RM's 10-year-old poem went viral as well. Now something to preface, RM is a literal genius. He just has a super high IQ and his literacy is just unmatched. Apparently when he was 10 years old, he wrote a poem and apparently this seemed like it was for a contest or something. He compared the state of the nation, South Korea, with the drama that exists in Korea. He had hoped that by the time he got older, the two nations would be peaceful and come together. Unfortunately, that has not happened. And if anything, I think the tension has gotten worse. Arm has also mentioned that other countries in other parts of the world seem to look down at South Korea and the North because saying that he might dislike Korea or find them embarrassing, I think we all find our own nation to be embarrassing because we're in it and we see all the flaws. This is very intelligent of him to realize and at 10 years old and to come up with the sentences like this, I can't even write that as an adult or even make those animal metaphors as he compares Korea to a rabbit and not a tiger. And I'm sure there's a much stronger meaning of that in Korean. Of course, by saying this, people can say that Arm doesn't exactly have a lot of pride in his nation. And this poem came up after the enlistment and after Arm said goodbye, which I wanna talk about later. 
But people were saying that RM probably shouldn't be serving a nation that he might have issues with. I personally wouldn't want to serve a nation that I don't agree with politically. However, it's not that RM disagrees with South Korea's politics, it's that he disagreed with the handling of the North and the South, and likely just didn't really understand the whole tension and why there was even a North and South divide. As he grew older, he probably did learn why, and at this point, the North and the South are mostly seen as two different entities, and honestly, we can probably probably say anyone who believes South Korea is the one with communism and Kim Jong-un, they probably are just ignorant and we can probably ignore their comment. I think RM definitely loves his nation a lot and loves to represent it. He has now become the ambassador of Korea and could have probably declined that offer if he truly felt like the nation did a disservice to him and his people. But no, he accepted it and accepted the responsibilities of being an ambassador. He also could have spoken out about it, but I think what we and other people have realized is that North Korea is a bit of a lost cause. RM has also talked about his love of South Korean Olympics and how much he supports them and a roots for them. Again, all of this shows national pride and not anything against his nation. There was a debate that started to occur after a different letter came out. So this was a more recent letter that came out and this was RM's goodbye letter. He wrote a lot, but the bit that ended up being translated was the bit where he talked about how 18 months is going to feel like a long time, but we have something to look forward to when we come back. And he also has something to look forward to. That's something having an audience to make music for. A lot of armies have tried to translate the full letter, but I guess this letter is similar to the poem or something, making it very hard to get the message correctly or making the metaphors make sense. So apparently armies were asking and tweeting at the person who translated BTS's memoir. This is their beyond the story 10 year record of BTS. And basically you can buy this and it's very in-depth collection of stories of BTS. And so originally it was all Korean and then he was hired to translate everything more accurately. So armies were tweeting at that guy to translate RM's letter. I guess most armies thought it would be a big deal, but it actually isn't and we need to talk about it. So the guy came out and made a TikTok video talking about how he actually fully doesn't like the politics of South Korea, specifically conscriptions and how he is very much against it. He claims that he has a very non-mainstream belief about the military and politics. He was severely injured during his service to the point where doctors thought he would have needed a wheelchair for his entire life, but through some amazing miracle, I assume he's okay now. I mean, if you get injured to that extent, are you ever 100% okay? Probably not, but he seems to be okay to be able to walk and live a normal life. And so his belief there is that the military is bad and it's to build someone else's empire, I'm probably referring to the government. The government wanted a nation of soldiers. He goes on to talk about how BTS would never ask for an exemption, but thinks it's unfair as we've all been saying that BTS won't get exempt, but athletes and even gamers can get exempt. Going into how South Korea doesn't care about keeping their nation's reputation good by building up their artists, because at the end of the day, both sports players and artists are remembered throughout history, not just sports players. And to be fair, most sports players don't really get into politics as much as singers do now, so I would say less sports players now. And I guess this is the reason he doesn't align with the overt message of RM enlisting and thus doesn't want to have his name next to RM's translation. It's likely that RM's translation is either praising or saying how he is excited to enlist. And if you don't believe in those words, you likely don't want to even be the one to translate it. So I understand that and I think it's very courageous to have a standpoint like this and say it very much with your chest. Of course, I agree with this. I think BTS for the service was treated so terribly. I can't believe that they're actually going and this sparked a whole debate and resurgence of the conversation should artists go. And I think this is definitely a debate that is worth talking about. I think there should be a conclusion for this and it shouldn't just end with BTS getting their BTS law and that's it. It should end up with all artists getting an exemption because they are serving the nation. And maybe the trans later feels RM needed to actually be much harsher with his words. I have no idea. Let me know what you think. Make sure to check on Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this little bit comment right here. Love you. Bye.